What's up guys, Craig Mack here. <clears throat> Forgive my voice, just getting it back. But I just checking in on my swarm trap. This trap <clears throat> picked up a swarm in late 2020. It was really small. Uh, heat signature right about the size of a of a softball in this in this box. And sure enough, they made it all the way through 2020. Uh, well, into 2021, 2021 came, they built out. I uh, wasn't sure about them for a little while, but as you can see, they are they're bringing in pollen and they're alive and well. Right now, let's have some orientation flights going on. I'm probably in the way of that. Uh, you can see this lid is as twisted as it gets. It's got a nice big old gap underneath of it. Uh, it wasn't quite that bad, but I had opened this up earlier just to give it a peek. But I don't know if you can see. I mean, there's there's a big old gap in there. And uh, as of yet, the last time I opened this, they weren't in the top box yet. They're in the top of the box yet. They got that pretty glued down. I'm just going to leave it alone. But this is a half-inch box. It's wide open. It's got separations in it. The lid was is warped. And the bees are still alive. I haven't touched them. I went through this once last year just to take a look at it. I haven't looked at it again. And now I'm pretty much going to make this a cutout. I'm going to put a box right back on top of this stone and leave this colony go there. But I want to get them in a box I can actually inspect uh, with some appropriate frames and, and such. So one of these days soon I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the cutout work on this. Might even get into that tomorrow, although it's supposed to be a bit windy. Um, but we'll see. But again, bees don't need much. Warm and dry is about it. and They survive in stuff that isn't all that warm all the time. So there they are, swarm trap bees. Going into their uh, second uh, full season.